Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Ladies and gentlemen, this is this is gonna be a little bit different. Can I get an audio check? Stream, stream producer, por favor. Can I can I can I just get an audio check? That'd be great. Thank you. We got know your role and shut your mouth because the people's champ is ready to talk. I'll wait. I'll wait. I, I wasn't ready to start anyway. I'll wait. Yo, Zach, it's been a minute. Stream four of me asking for you to raid you for tech. I I will raid UFD Tech if he is streaming at the end of Thirsty Thursday. I will not raid his bot. He runs a bot for 24-7. I will not raid him. Unless if he's actually streaming. I will gladly raid him as soon as he does that. But I don't think he ever streams at this time. He is a dad of three boys. Uh, I think he's a little bit too busy to stream. Drop more Zach lore. We will. We will. Don't worry. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Today, we are doing things a, a little bit differently. Okay. We're having some voice vocal cord issues. Okay. As you guys know. We're drinking some lemon ginger tea and some... Raspberry hip, hip, hibiscus sparkling water. Okay. That's my version of Thirsty Thursday today, unfortunately. I hope you guys are okay with that. And I have to do some serious, seriously important recording tomorrow for the YouTube channel. So we need to do whatever it takes to not lose our voice today. Okay. That's the goal. 
you guys might have noticed, I actually raised the minimum amount of biddies that you can send just for tonight. Fitty bitty minimum. Dude, I gotta watch my voice. Stop screaming. Bitty bitty minimum. Just because it's always the 10 bitty messages that throw us off by like half hour. It's like, oh, here's 10 biddies. Review my PC part picker and my second one as well. So I just raised it for today. We gotta protect the voice. We gotta protect our business. I gotta continue to put put food on the table for everybody. So we need to make a we need to make some good choices today. But we are building a very high end gaming PC that I'm excited about. Uh, PC Addict is also excited with the beta bitties. PC Addict says, "Got my ZTT T-shirt on right now. All I have left to do is collect my ticket for the Fitty Bitty Committee." Thank you, PC Attic. Mark is also joining us in the Fitty Bitty Committee. Thank you. Uh, that 1,000 Bitty message was from Zai again. Um, thank you very much for the 1,000 Bitties. Again, we'll raid Brett. We'll raid him if he's actually streaming. Fix with the 100 Bitties. Know your role and shut your mouth because the people's champ is ready to talk. Go ahead, Zai. Go ahead. You just made my first video of me building a PC. Want to see what you think? See, those are the, those are the messages. That that's what derails the voice. I, 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 I need to build this PC. I appreciate the thousand biddies. We will look at it on the next stream. We, I can't be turning into React Zach. I gotta build this PC. We're gonna build this thing in two hours. Okay, that is the goal. We're gonna build this entire, super RGB heavy. Lots of RGB connectors, an AIO, a bunch of extra fans. We're still going to build it in two hours. Okay. I know that might not seem like a huge feat if you're new here. But for those of you that have been watching Thirsty Thursdays, that's that's quite a tough task that we are setting out to do. Uh, thank you very much for those 1,000 biddies, though. We'll watch it next time. Joe Hushkins with the 100 biddies. But congrats on making your first YouTube video, by the way. That's big time. SSA with 100 Bitty says, Thank you for answering my PC fan question. I thought you skipped. Like on a YouTube short? Is that what you're talking about? If so, you're welcome. I am Boyo with the tier one sub. Thank you. All right, let's do this. You guys ready to build this? There are definitely some people on YouTube that need banned, por favor. They need to get out. <sighs> the video is too much long. Koro with the 200 bitty says, That looks like it will be a fun build. Let's go. All right, so here's the deal. This is actually a consulting build. So, as you guys know, zttelp.com, um, we offer a bunch of different consulting services. One of them is like the full package. I design the parts list, we go over back and forth alternatives, really fine tune a perfect build for somebody. And then I create or build the PC myself. We create some content about it, whether it's on a live stream or in a vertical video, and then we ship the PC. That is what we're doing today. So just remember, this build is completely ta tailored and customized to one specific person. This is not the meta, okay? This is exactly how one random person wanted their build. I'm not sure if they're gonna be on the stream tonight. Um, but a lot of these choices, like Intel preference and Nvidia preference. That's what they want, that's what they get, you know? Um, so this is completely tailored to them. I would not copy this uh, just because it's it's definitely not like a, a build template, copy paste type of build. Completely custom for one person. Does this sound good? Can you see the YouTube chat? I think, I think, I think so. Kalachis and coffee dishing out some bands over there. You're amazing, Zach. I love your content. Thank you for watching that. Don't forget to review my PC part picker. Yeah, we're not doing that today. We're going to do that next stream. We are 100% in protecting the voice mode. I need to film videos tomorrow. So we're just going to like start building right now. I know it's kind of weird. What are we? 10 minutes into the stream? We're going to start building. Here's the motherboard. We got ourselves a Gigabyte Z790. UD. AC. Boom. 
One of the more affordable Z790s. We definitely wanted a Z790 with a K-series CPU. But we didn't want to go too overboard on the budget. Um, so this is a good, like, mid-ranged Z790 board. Tony Wade with 100 biddies. No message. Thank you. What is the total cost of the build? Um, well, here's the thing. <laughs> the original cost was like 2K. <laughs> uh, I, I, I can't remember how it went. Um, but I'm pretty sure the original cost was 2K. And uh, this customer like asked me a couple questions. Like we, we went back and forth, revised the build list a little bit. And they kept asking for more and more. Like, is this better? Is this better? Is this better? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's more money, more money, more money. Um, but they were okay with it. So we kind of just piled more money into it. I think the total came out to be like 22, 2300. Pretty high end system. Northern Light Customs with the $10 super chat says can't gift membership. So here's a donut. I'll take it. Thank you. That's big time. Thank you, Northern Lights. All right, our CPU. And his name is oh, John I'll wait for John. Why is that so loud? That's still so loud. Uh, James, with the tier one resub, thank you. I don't know why that and repeats his name too. Is John I don't know why it does that. Man, you're gonna have to figure that out. Not sure. What CPU under $200 would you recommend with the 6650 XT? I mean, you can go well under 200. I would go with the 6650 XT if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Get a 5600. You know, I wouldn't even you don't even need to if you don't want to go over to over 200 then you don't even need to get close to it. 5600 and a 6650 XT is a a really solid Price to performance combo for 1080p gaming. All right, here's our CPU. Actually, we'll we'll wait on the CPU. We'll wait for ads. They're still in the nap break. <clears throat> uh, Luch with the two Canadian dollars. Luke says, "Can we get a Fortnite stream from the Fortnite God? We might have to. We might have to one day. Does does Lego Fortnite count by chance?" My kids, my four and my two-year-old, absolutely love watching my wife and I play Lego Fortnite. Like, especially like when we're on the same uh, map or server, and and we can like play with each other and build stuff and chop down trees and hunt wolves. They love it. Does that count? Because I mean, I'm, I'm kind of I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of rubbed off on me. I'm digging some Lego Fortnite. It's so much fun. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it actually. I mean, I'm a big survival crafting type of uh, person. I really like those games. And Lego Fortnite is one of the only ones that's like appropriate for a <clears throat> four and a two year old to watch. Is the giveaway fake? No, here's all the information you need to know. There's the cheat sheet. The giveaway is actually over in two weeks from today. Two weeks from today. Screenshot that. I'm going to take it off the screen. I'm taking it off in five, four, three, Two one. All right. Um, yeah, the giveaway, which is this build right here, we are giving it away in two weeks from today. So on two Thirsty Thursday episodes from now, we're gonna build the next giveaway PC, and we're gonna give away this one. So yeah, earn points by watching on Twitch. All the info is at exclamation point giveaway, or if you're over on YouTube, check uh, on the description has all the giveaway info that you need. <clears throat> are you a pro at pc gaming yeah yeah for sure okay ad break is over we were waiting for you guys that were watching ads by the way 13 700k this is actually the highest end intel cpu that i've used to date our higher end boards have been um like 7800 x3ds my build has a 12700K. Pretty sure the 13700K is our highest end Intel CPU on Thursday Thursday thus far. Fire Medic with 100 biddies. Also in the Fitty Bitty Committee. 
don't know why my button's not working. There we go. Thank you, Fire Medic. Sup, Zach? Finally getting on the home server train. It's been really fun and a nightmare at the same time. Yes, home servers can be nightmares. For sure. Uh, it is very rewarding whenever you set up like an actual service that like your family uses, like a Plex server or something like that, or maybe like a, a PyHole, PyDNS, that type of thing. It's really satisfying. But at the same time, when that Plex server goes down or when your fancy router setup goes down and nobody has Wi-Fi or when something goes wrong in the house that people are now relying on, it is not fun. It can be a nightmare. The pressure's on you. You can't call somebody to come help you with your home server issues. You gotta figure that out yourself. All right, 13700K is in. <clears throat> Making serious progress, here we go. <clears throat> Cubing says, I love your videos so much. First time chatter on Switch, nice, thank you. Who's this PC for? This is for a consulting customer. You can type in exclamation point consulting and that'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. We have a lot of different consulting packages. One of them is the full deal. From the design of the parts list to me building the PC, shipping it out to you or configuring it, making some content about your PC like we are right now, um, and then shipping you the final product. That is what this person wanted. Again, if you if you missed that first message, this build is completely custom to their needs. This isn't like a copy-paste type of build. Um, but it's still going to be amazing. Really good. All right, here's our, C or our uh, SSD. We got a WD Black 2 terabyte Gen 4 NVMe. This is one of the examples where... I had a little bit more value friendly SSD for them. So we didn't go over budget. Um, and the customer was like, well, what about the SN770? Is it better? I'm like, yeah, it's better, but it's $30 more. They're like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> Whatever you want, however you want your build, that is fine with me. It's fun when you don't have a stingy customer, which, most people that are buying a consulting service from ZTT are not stingy, <laughs> given the, the price of it. Um, but yeah, it's fun when you're dealing with someone that has a flexible budget and just <laughs> wants, of the, what's, wants what they want. It makes life watch easy. Out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Tech by Drew with 100 Biddy says, Hey Zach, I can work for free for you to learn. Wait, I can work for free for you to learn from you for first hand? I mean, that's usually a pretty good strategy, depending on what the, oops, depending on what the nature of the job is. Um, right now, ZTT is at the point where I don't need free work. You know, I would get more value out of somebody that's experienced and I pay them versus somebody that's inexperienced and I don't have to pay them. Um... But I mean, that strategy will work at some point. All right, SSD is going in. <clears throat> yeah, exclamation point consulting is how you get there. And, it, and of course, if you want some free build help, put the camera on me. If you want some free PC building help, go to zttbuildhelp.com. zttbuildhelp.com is the, consult, the paid consulting services, but zttbuildhelp.com is the all the free resources if you need help building your PC. I'd gift but my banking app doesn't work. Best of luck. What are the specs of this? So far, we have a 13700K. Oh, I didn't even say we got some we have 48 gigabytes of DDR5. Um I can't remember what the full story was with this customer, but they said something about how 32 gigabytes isn't enough. I can't remember why they said that, though. 
Um, oh, they, they do home server stuff, ironically enough. Yeah, they do home server stuff. And they wanted more than 32 gigabytes. So we got a 2x24 gigabyte DDR5 kit. And then we have a 2 terabyte NVMe SSD. That's what we got so far. I'll give you a quick little sneak peek of the other parts. What we're building inside of. Anybody want to take a... Oh, wait, never mind. You can see it from the thumbnail. We're building inside of... Quite possibly... Oh, wow, I just realized that light's not on. My bad. Quite possibly my favorite ATX case right now. The NZXT H6 Flow, which is literally what I daily drive. But this is the black version. I've never built with this black version before. The dual chambered fish tank case with the angled three RGB fans up here. This is gonna look so good. This is gonna look really good. Is that a reverse fish tank? No. Are you talking about the fans or are you just trying to make a joke? No, these fans are actually set to intake. So it's a very traditional, very traditional setup. But yeah, this is gonna look super sick. And our GPU is the PNY RTX 4070 Ti Super. We had about roughly $800 of GPU budget to play with based off of the specs of the build. And this person specifically only wanted Nvidia. So at 800 bucks, that's obviously your only real option. Um, so that's why we're going with that. And to go along with that black H6 flow, we got ourselves a Kraken Elite 360 RGB AIO. So we are going to mount the motherboard hardware now before we move on, per usual. <clears throat> That's a good cooler. It's a really good cooler. It's, I'm not going to lie. This build, not on purpose, but this build ended up being pretty much a clone of my build, but just the black version. <laughs> That's basically how it came out. All right. Where's our LGA 1700? There we go. All right. Where would this stuff be? And his name is John C. <laughs> Uh, Silencia with the tier 1 sub. Thank you. Oh, I forgot. Chibi with the fitty bitties. Sorry, Chibi. I missed that. Says, hey, Zach. Everyone knows that you're the AMD price to performance guy. But do you have any preferences to any AIB? No, I don't have a pre I don't even have an AMD preference. The only reason I recommend AMD is because if you care about price to performance, in most situations, that is the better pick right now. It's not because I like AMD just objectively true fps there are people that calculate fps per dollar and right now most amd gpus are winning it's not a preference towards a towards amd and i definitely don't have a preference towards aibs well i mean i have aesthetic preferences you know like i am definitely not a fan of msi's new direction <laughs> Um, but no, I don't. I don't have like a a firm a firm preference of AIB. Thank you for the fifty bitties, though. How am I thirty minutes late, dude? You're basically like an hour and a half late because this Thirsty Thursday episode, we're moving. We are booking it for this Thirsty Thursday episode right now. We got to keep things high paced, so we don't end up with a five hour live stream like we typically do where my voice is shot. Well, Mark, what were you asking about the MSI? Was that question to me? So no opinion about Intel? Um, I mean, 
CPUs like the 13700K are objectively extremely powerful. Like, there, there's no debate about that. Like, the 13700K is still one of the best CPUs on the planet right now. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. For gaming. But, the problem that I don't like with Intel right now, and it's not a fault to Intel, it's just the timing is... LGA 1700, which is the socket we're using, is done. Intel 14th gen is out, and Intel 15th gen will be on a new socket. So, for this build particularly, you have no upgrade path with the 13700K. Because we already know that there's barely a jump at all going from 13th to 14th gen, so you wouldn't do that. And nobody is realistically going to do a 13700K to a 13 or 14900K. Nobody does that. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. So realistically, there's no upgrade path with this CPU. With Ryzen, if you would have went with a 7800X3D right now, then you could upgrade that to Ryzen 8000 series a year from now, and that CPU generation isn't even out yet. And there could be more. We don't even know yet. And his name is Ryzen 9000, 10,000 series, or whatever they call it, could be on AM5 as well. We don't know. But again, that's not a fault of Intel. Watch out, watch that's just out, the timing out, out. of right now. You know? So that's my thoughts on Intel. I, I always rec For high-end builds, I always recommend people go AMD for future-proofing. And because the 7800X3D is a beast. Um, but if people want Intel, they want Intel. Like, I don't have a problem with it. It's still going to be an amazing system. Sean over the Fitty Bitty says he's using Intel. He's an Intel shill. That's, that's, yep, that's usually how it is. The dog with the tier one sub, thank you. Sean also with the Fitty Bitty says he said bad thing about Intel. He's AMD shill. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly how it is. Zach, 8,000 8, AMD is out. Yes, 9,000 series. I gotta, yep, thank you. I, I, I gotta, I gotta get used to that. Yes, 9,000 series is what I meant during that entire conversation. Good point. Okay, um, we are done with the motherboard prep. Put this over here. Now we can go to our power supply. Our power supply for our 4070 Ti Super is this Thermaltake 850 watt GF. A3, fully modular, 80 plus gold. Um, this one's either tier A or tier B, I can't remember. Certainly good enough. I can't remember if it's A or B though. But this one's been going on some hot sales lately, so I've been scooping this up often. Can I still edit videos with the 7800X3D? Yeah, of course you can. Um, the, the only real AMD versus Intel thing that you need to know about editing videos is Adobe Premiere specifically runs better on Intel CPUs with integrated graphics. So like with this 13700K, it comes with integrated graphics and Adobe Premiere will actually utilize that integrated graphics and you can see a difference on the timeline. But if you're using a different software, like DaVinci Resolve, I don't think you have that advantage. So, yes, but but even with Adobe Premiere, if you use a 7800X3D, it's still gonna be really good. It's not like it's bad. It's just, it can be better. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I gotta get to these super chats. Sorry, I've been missing a few. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> RK Sub with the $5 super chat says, Thank you, John Cena. Why does the MSI 4080 Super look like a front end of a of a Hyundai? <laughs> I think it looks more like a cheese grater. But yes, I don't know why they did that. Oh, never mind. That was the only super chat I missed. We're good. Cool. The darkest magic with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Much appreciated. 
Brian Friedman says, thank you so much, Zach. I don't know what for, but you're welcome. The cheese grater is fire. Don't get me started on the cheese grater, man. Just let me, let me relax. Let me relax, por favor. All right, so and we're going to set up these John tables. Oh God, this is loud. That, that volume is not adjusting. I feel like we adjust that every stream now. Dukin with the 200 bitty says, Would you mind suggesting what is the best AMD GPU under 350? I mean, that's going to be a 7600 or 7600 XT. You should probably look that up yourself. That's a very basic question, and I don't have every single part memorized, but I'll do it for you. <laughs> I don't think you can get an XT for that, can you? It's been a couple weeks since I looked this one up. 7600 XT. Oh, no, you can. Yeah, you can get an XT. Yeah, 7600 XT. That's the best you can do if, if you're buying brand new. Yeah. All you gotta do is look that up. <laughs> Why are you treating me like chat GPT? It's Ye Mystic with the five month reset. John Thank you. C Much appreciated. Right, we don't need that. We definitely need this. What else we got here? Don't need that. Joe with the 100 bitties says you missed a bunch of super chats. Oh, I thought I did. It's not showing them to me. Yeah, the, the YouTube chat is very annoying. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm even going to the super chat page. Oh, there's one. There's one from Luke, two Canadian. Oh, there they are. Never mind. My fault. Luke with the $2 Canadian says... Is the GTX 1070 and a 3600X a good combo for a budget? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the 1070 is definitely showing its age considerably. But if that's the maximum amount of GP that you can buy, then, I mean, yeah, that combo will work together. Correct. Northern Lights with another $5 super chat says, The only content creator that daily drives AMD is ZTT. Honestly, it might be. But to my, to be fair... <laughs> Um, I'm not streaming from this PC. I'm streaming from... What is my card? Oh my god, I forget. It's a bad one. I think it is a 1070. <laughs> right? Yeah, I think I'm streaming from a 1070 right now. I have a second streaming PC that I set up. And you do not need a big GPU if you're only streaming like just chatting like we're not gaming on my streaming PC um, so I think I'm I think I'm streaming from a 1070 right now all I know is whatever GPU is in there I need to pull out soon because we need it for a project so yeah I think it is a 1070 but yeah that it if I was streaming from my main PC setup I probably would have I probably would be going with NVIDIA. PC Tech Hustle with the 20... Dude, PC Tech Hustle is always coming in hot. With the $20 Super Chat says, What up, Zach? I have a high-end build I'll be doing soon, too. Just looking for a Y70 Touch case, which seems like a dang unicorn. Oh, are they hard to find? I didn't know that. I have never bought a hype case yet. Um, I know a lot of people want them, but I didn't know that they were in demand like that. Like... I didn't know that there was a supply issue. That's pretty interesting. Okay. Um, so this is what I was kind of afraid of. We're going to have to buy... That sucks. I think. Oh, wait. Maybe we're good. PCIe. Oh, no. We're good. Okay. Yeah. I went a different route this time with the cable extension situation, and I'll explain that in just a minute. <clears throat> RK with another $5 super chat. Oh my God, you guys are going off on YouTube. You're gonna ruin my voice. It says, cheese grater Hyundai. What's the difference? I don't know which Hyundai you're talking about, but it looks like a cheese grater. 
but I mean, that's not surprising. I believe you. Luke with another five Canadian dollars says, Hey Zach, it's me again. What is the best marketplace for PC flipping? What do I do with the speaker from my case? That's it for my bank account tonight. <laughs> um, well, the best marketplace is obviously Jawa. Yes, I'm biased, but yes, it's true. Definitely just go to jawa.gg. What do I do with the speaker from my case? Speaker from your case. You talking about like one of those little doodads? What else would you be talking about? The speaker from your case? Are you talking about just the, the things that you put on your motherboard? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but for the other question, yeah, definitely Jawa. <laughs> for sure. Thank you for all of the super chats, by the way. I appreciate it. DJ Stu with the 100 bitty says, let's start a hype train. Our hype train's already on cooldown. We already had a hype train at the very beginning. But I appreciate it. Duke in with the 100 bitty says, thank you. That is what I saw on Google, but wanted your opinion. Yeah, I mean, if you want the best GPU for X amount of money, <laughs> there's nothing to it. Like, if you're, if, you're, if you're buying new parts, you go to PC Part Picker and you look. For every price range, there is typically going to be one AMD option and one NVIDIA option. It's, it's really almost never more than that. Whenever we are, we are at the, um, <clears throat> whenever we're at the beginning of a new generation, like when uh, RTX 4000 series just comes out, or when RX 7000 series just comes out, it gets a little bit more complicated because then you're typically debating about should I get the 7600, the newer card? Or should I get the previous gen 6700 XT? That was a very real debate there for a while. But for both AMD and Nvidia, we are enough into RTX 4000 series and uh, RX 7000 series that, I mean, if you're buying a new card, you're probably just gonna be going with the current gen. Most people aren't buying and brand new RTX 3000 series, RX 6000 series. I guess other than like the RX 6600, that hasn't and been replaced yet. But yeah, for the most part, we're we're only buying current gen now. We're we're enough. We're far enough into it at this point. Uh, typhoid with the typical thirteen dollar and thirty seven cent dono. Thank you very much. Per usual, typhoid. No message though. Uh, for oh wait, yeah, no message. Uh, first eighty eight with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, boss with the t Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Luke with another two Canadian dollars says, I'm Canadian and I can't stop. Or, <laughs> I'm Canadian. I'm addicted and I can't stop. Also Canadian, though, I would assume. Watch out, watch out, <laughs> Thank you very much, Luke. Don't go overboard over there. RK Cell with the $20 super chat <clears throat> says, Most of the newest Hyundais look that way. Sorry when I seen it at CES. That's where my mind went. Also, not an AMD fan. But does it matter what motherboard you use with a 7700 and a 7700 XTX? Um, I mean, not really. If, if you're buying a 7700, then you have to either get a, or I mean, you're, you're going to get a B650 or an X670E. Um, I mean, there's definitely different quality levels with those. So, I mean, yeah, it does make a difference. Um, but your options are somewhat limited because we only have one chipset generation for am5 right now so it's not like there's a million motherboard choices um but yeah i mean it, it'll make a difference like you don't want to use a super cheap b650 with um with a 7700 at least i wouldn't okay here we go for the first time in ztt history we are using cable mod Cable extensions, watch out, watch not out, custom out, cables. Drink some tea for your voice. I know I just finished it. I have never purchased a single product from Cable Mod in my entire life. But one thing that has me very scared, not scared, but cautious is this thing. These 12 volt high power 
connectors. As we know, they're a problem. Look, you can see how much of a problem this is when companies like CableMod ship it to you like this. They don't even want to ship the connector to you unless if it's fully protected. Look, there's this plastic protecting on it. And then there's also this like little removable plastic shroud as well to protect it. For consulting orders, I have been very cautious about which cable extensions I recommend. And unfortunately, a lot of the cable extension companies have not adapted to the newer 12 volt high power connector. And I am definitely not using a cheap company with, with this connector. I'm very cautious about it. Cable mod, obviously it can be trusted. I know they had the issue with a different 12 volt high power product, but that's not this. Um, but I am not buying like the cheaper 12 volt extensions, especially for a consulting order. Like I would do it for my own bill without a problem. But for somebody's PC that I'm either building for them or I'm recommending that they buy, we've been using the higher end extensions here. Um, so we're gonna see how, it, how cable mod goes. I've never used these before. And the other disadvantage is there's just not a lot of color schemes with 12 volt high power extensions right now. And the customer, I just lost that piece. The customer specifically wanted a black and blue setup. So these were one of the only black and blue cable extensions that had a 12 volt high power extension on it. Um, so we were already limited. And that's just, that's the game of 12 volt high powered PSU cable extensions is not good right now. <laughs> it's very limiting right now. Most people probably don't know that because they're not buying a lot of, I'll take another one. Thank you. Um, but yeah, that, that's the, that's the meta right now. Qualsack with the fitty bitty says, is an AMD Athlon 2 CPU e-waste? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't do anything with that. Not even a home server or anything. Fix it with the 100 bitty says lots of ZTT first. Yeah, this is a first. Yeah, Koro, thank you for those 100 bitties. My wife is making me another tea right now, thankfully. RK Sell with the $5 super chat again says, I haven't used that shroud because it destroys aesthetics and it's upside down for that fact. I haven't used that shroud. What shroud? It's upside down for that fact? What shroud? The shroud on the 12 volt? That's not what you're talking about, his is it? Name is John C. I haven't even really looked at it. I just dropped it, though. This isn't what you're talking about, is it? What shroud? I'm confused. What anime are you watching right now? Uh, I have not gone through the comment section of that video where I was taking anime requests. I have not uh, read the comments yet. I will. I will. I don't think I need to prove myself when I tell you guys that I actually do read the comment section. 75% of my videos are responding to comments. Um, but yeah, I just have not read the comments on that video yet. I'm saving it for when I'm ready to, to research some anime. See what you guys recommend for me. Finally, ads are done. Thank you for watching them. Hi, type, type in the chat, how many ads did you guys just watch right now? We just did an ad break. Tw I think Twitch is running extra ads right now. I've been seeing them too. I'm very close to buying a turbo subscription because I'm, I'm sick of it. Zero, zero, seven, four, five, eight, three. Well, if you guys, if you guys just watch ads, thank you very much. Remember, the ads aren't just a nuisance. It's what pays creators to create these shows. So it is very much appreciated that you sit through the ads. Thank you. Zero ads, I live in Russia. There you go. Can we even run ads in Russia right now? I don't know if we can. I, I think there's like sanctions or something. New username of a uh, Twitch Prime sub come back for three months. Thank you very much. Now rocking the, the bronze ZTT or the silver ZTT badge. Nice. 
Smile with the fitty bitty says, Hey Zach, I don't think you're in the fitty bitty committee yet, are you? How are you doing today? Also just wanted to say, thank you for creating such a great Discord community that I can always go to and share my list with without having to be worried about people screaming at me and disrespecting my build for it being garbage. I actually just banned somebody today for that. <laughs> yeah, the, somebody was asking for upgrade advice and some moron thought it was cool to make fun of him for his part selection and whatnot. And I was like, dude, you're gone. You failed the vibe check. Our number one ban reason is failing vibe check. We, we do everything that we can to make sure that the vibe in ZTT stays how it is. Um, we're, we're very protective of the, of the vibe in our Discord server. It's one of the very few Discords that I can. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for the videos. Um, okay, power supply is done. We are ready to start putting these pieces together. These are very nice looking extensions though. I like them. Um, we'll see how they, I'm a little worried about the flexibility. They are very, very, very stiff cables. Um, but we, we shall see. They look really nice though. For the black and blue build that this customer wanted, they are definitely gonna get what they are asking for. So I'm excited about that. That's gonna look really, really good. We'll see how they, we'll see what the usability is like though. RK sub with the $5 dono says, or super chat says, the cable mod shroud is upside down for Nvidia at least. Uh, is that what you're talking about? So, yeah, it is. So this is the direction that it would plug into the GPU. Like the GPU is right here, my hand, and you plug it in like this. Are you talking about how the cable mod is upside down? Right there. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Stuff like that doesn't bother me, but I know some people that really bothers them, so. Sorry for one of those people. Is that what you're talking about? I would believe it, because if you put a fan upside down, um, people will go crazy about it. Is that what you're talking about? Okay. What do we want to do next? Yeah, let's get our case out. Actually, I'm going to take a bathroom break. I definitely need to go, go pee real quick. What's the Discord server name? Just type in exclamation point Discord. All right. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Waited a couple seconds. That way Griffin got some camera time. 
My dog needs to get camera time during the BRB scenes a little bit. Kids look adorable, bro. Thank you. They are uh, they're a handful. <laughs> they are quite the handful. All right, here we go. Here's our case. NZXT H6 Flow. Dual chambered. Fish tank. Looking super clean. A lot of room for cable management. Uh, and it comes with three pre-installed ARGB fans as well, which is very nice. Here's what the back looks like. The only prep work I did for this um, was barely anything, but we have this um, these three Velcro straps for cable management, which NZXT does a great job of. But I did kind of pull them apart a little bit to get access to the three-pin ARGB and the four-pin PWM connectors because they were kind of like buried under there and these are all daisy chained together and I just pulled them out a little bit which is why the cable management is just a touch kind of messy just so we have quick access to those and I think what I did with my build is remove this hard drive cage to get it out of the way yeah we don't need that and then these are the accessories that come with the H6 flow. What are the specs? 13700K, 48 gigs of DDR5, and an RTX 4070 Ti Super. This is for a consulting customer. You can type in exclamation point consulting to see what that is all about. Um, but this build, the parcel list was completely customized to how this particular customer wanted their build. And now I'm building it for them. And then we're gonna create some content about it like we are right now. And then we're gonna ship them the completed PC, hopefully by the, by the weekend or so. All right, motherboard, let's go on in. Boom, she's in. Looking clean. Looking real clean. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Gotta find the motherboard screws though. There they are. <clears throat> Dukin with the 200 bitty says, I'm sorry if I'm asking dumb questions. If. Is building DDR4 setup, is it better to go with X570 over B550? I want to stay DDR4 until DDR6, but want to upgrade the CPU later? Oh man, that is a lo oh man. Whew. That's a loaded question. Um, so B550 is actually newer than X570. As far as I know, there's no actual distinct advantage that most people are going to use on X570. B550 has been the meta for a while now. Um, if you're getting a slightly higher end AM4, which you got to be careful because you don't want to spend too much money when you should have just got AM5. I'm going to switch the drill bit out here. Um, oops. So I would probably recommend just B550. But your philosophy on you want to stick with DDR4 until DDR6 comes out, that is not normal. Um, DDR generations do not come out that often, you know, and DDR5 is very new. Like, I mean, how long do they last? DDR re generations last, like, six to eight years? Somebody can fact check that. But that's not like a GPU generation. If you... Oh, that's... Oh. Drop the screw. <laughs> um... If you're building a PC right now, like 
I, I don't see any reason why you would specifically want DDR4. There it is. Go DDR5. Unless if you're trying to build like an ultra budget build. Yeah, that logic doesn't really make sense. I found it. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I, I I hope that was a helpful answer. I would not recommend that thinking. YouTube is way delayed. Yeah, the Twitch live stream is more updated. Lower latency than um than YouTube. That's how it's always been though. That's always been like that. For years. Thank you. We have another tea delivery. Lemon ginger. Honey. Ah, there we go. Alright, the voice can survive. Hopefully. ZTT, what build is this? This is a consulting customer's build. Uh, go to zttelp.com. That's where we do our consulting. Should I go DDR5 with the $1,000 budget? <laughs> that is probably the toughest question to ask right now, in my opinion, when it comes to what I do as a PC building content creator. It's very, very, very tough. I'm gonna explain it real quickly. <laughs> Clip it if you have to. The reason why it's tough is because if you go DDR4 with AM4, let's just use AM4 as an example. If you go with an AM4 build for $1,000, you if you do it properly, you will get more FPS compared to going AM5 with DDR5 because you will have more money to spend on your GPU if you go with AM4 right now. However, if you spend $1,000 now, will you regret in two to three years that you're on DDR4? I think the answer is yes. If I'm personally spending $1,000, which in my opinion is a lot of money, especially for a gaming PC, then I want the best of the best. I want the latest and greatest. So I would go Ryzen 7000 series, AM5, DDR5. But you'll get less FPS because I'll have less money to spend on my GPU because I have to spend more on my CPU, motherboard, and RAM. It's a really, really tough debate for $1,000. At 1250, AM5, DDR5 all the way. At $750 or lower, DDR4 all the way, no questions asked. But right at, right at that $1,000 mark, it's a real tough call. Real tough call. Do you, it, it, it really just comes down to your preference. Do you want more FPS now, right this second? Or do you want better future-proofing options for the future? <clears throat> real tough question. I debate about that so often especially for for my consulting orders it's a it's a really tough debate you just you, you gotta ask the person it all depends on what their what their personal preference is it's not up to me most of the time um hey somewhat your name in youtube you gotta go sorry Ooh, oh wow i almost banned the wrong person that would have sucked all right, buy somewhat. You gotta get out, man. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Motherboard is installed, ready to go. Now we can start plugging in Actually, I'm going to steal these screws, put them in our box, because I'm running low on screws. <clears throat> you 
Yeah, I'm running really low on screws. Oh my goodness. Rip to whoever got banned. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to be annoying, you might as well just go be annoying somewhere else. Carmen Kid on Twitch says, I think we should do away with future proof and use future upgradability. <laughs> I mean, I like it. <laughs> but the problem is for content creators, especially on like vertical videos, YouTube shorts and TikToks, literally every syllable counts. I actually will edit the script of my videos to remove syllables it's all like very strategic scientific mathematical i think there's even some physics involved in there so saying future proofed when you know that everyone knows what you mean is way more efficient than future upgrade ability <laughs> doesn't flow for day-to-day -day normal people go for it Makes sense. Hundred percent agree. All right, we're gonna start plugging in some of these cables now before our power supply gets in here and our AIO and all of the other nonsense. I think we need some solid future proof. Show us proof of the future. We dare you. <clears throat> yeah, I mean there is. There is no proof. <laughs> the term doesn't make sense. But everyone knows what you're talking about, and that's all that matters. That is the important thing. <clears throat> all right, got the USB 3.0. That's going in first. We're just doing all of the motherboard connectors from the case before we add any more parts. Just to make it easy, I got full access to everything here. I can properly route these cables without a bunch of additional things getting in my way. Got the USB C connector up here as well. Boom. That's in. Looking super clean. And we have an HD audio. It's gonna go in at the bottom. Oh, actually, I gotta do something first. I forgot. We gotta make sure. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, we'll be good. The one downfall of this case is there's not a lot of room at the bottom to route your power connector for your GPU. I remember we had issues with my H6 flow. But we will definitely have room because we're using the 12 volt high power adapter. Um, that is actually going to save us some trouble in this situation, which you don't say too often. But yeah, the 12 volt high power is an advantage here. Who would have thought? Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! 19 CR88 with the 100 biddies. No message. Thank you. Much appreciated. W stream. This is a very tame Thirsty Thursday. We, um, not like it's chaos normally, but it is a little bit more chaotic. But I'm having some vocal cord issues and I'm losing my voice every time I go live. So instead of drinking some whiskey, and borderline just throwing a party. We are taking it easy here and sipping on some tea with honey, trying not to talk loudly when I get triggered or when you guys send a lot of money <laughs> and just relaxing. Different type of stream today. You guys okay with a, with a little bit more casual approach to Thirsty Thursday? throw the party <laughs> I can I mean I can already feel my voices not a hundred percent I dig it 
It's like the Bob Ross of PC building. I'll take that as a huge compliment. Akira says, I'm drinking for you. I appreciate it. My wife is also sipping on a beer over there. Tea, honey, lemon, and one shot of whiskey. Yeah, I know. Everyone says do the shot of whiskey. Diego Rango with the $5 super chat says, hey, man, I'm selling a PC for $585. Its specs are a 9400F and a 1080. Do you think that's a good price point? Yeah. Yeah, you'll sell it. I mean, if your aesthetics are dialed in, you'll sell it. Yeah, 1080. Yeah. Yeah, for 550 or for 580. I mean, people people can get away with still selling like RX 580 builds at $500 um, with an Nvidia card and a 1080. Yeah, 585. Don't don't go lower than 500. You'll definitely be able to sell that at 500. Again, provided your aesthetics are dialed in. Okay. All right. We're just gonna do a touch of cable management over here just because this build will turn into chaos right before our eyes as soon as we get the AIO in here and the extra RGB fans so we need to do our due diligence now just to make sure that we are prepped for that and actually we're not doing too too shabby still a pretty still a pretty tame build down here don't really have any cables floating around I think we're doing pretty good um, I guess we'll do the power supply next right yeah yeah let's do the power supply next okay here's where it's gonna be chaotic instantly <sighs> Luke with the $2 Canadian. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch hungry out. Thursday? Yeah, we could do that. Actually, I'm not hungry at all. Not even close. What's the PC case in your background? It looks beautiful. The same exact one that we're using here. The one we're using today is the H6 Flow Black. The one behind me is the H6 Flow White. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for my consulting orders, I don't like, I don't recommend things that I don't know what I'm talking about. I, 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 I recommend what I know is good, you know? I definitely don't like spitball with other people's money. When other, other people's money is on the table, they're paying me for advice. I'm not faking it till I make it. I'm, I'm usually only recommending what what I know to be good. Um, now, occasionally they'll have requests and that's perfectly fine, you know? Um, but if somebody like this customer, they had some specific requirements like an Intel CPU and Nvidia GPU, that's fine. But aesthetically, they didn't really have too many requests. They just wanted it to be ATX and black and blue with some RGB action. So I really like this. They wanted a fish tank, or they were okay with a fish tank case. So, yeah, I mean, I use, I use what I know. I don't really want to experiment with other people's money. <clears throat> Thanks for getting me into PCs. You're welcome. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. It's good to hear. Sorry if it's been expensive. Wyatt Wolf with the $5 super chat. Would selling my 4070 Ti be worth it to upgrade to the 4070? No, 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 no. <laughs> Enjoy your Ti, your Ti. <laughs> it's, no, don't do that. <laughs> no, not at all. Keep your Ti, be happy with it. Um, and you're good to go. Thank you for your $5 dinner. <laughs> All right. Is a 4070 Ti Super or a 7900 XTX better? The XTX is better. It's more expensive, though. <laughs> They're not really two competitors. The competitor with the XTX 
is typically the 4080 or the 4080 Super. It's honestly not right now because the 4080 Supers are impossible to find at the price that they should be, which is $1,000. But yeah, no, I would go, if you're debating about a TI Super or an XTX, I would definitely go XTX all day, for sure. Unless if, per usual, if you're a content creator, NVIDIA fanboy, you really, really want to do RTX, whatever the case may be. Otherwise, yeah, I would go XTX all day. Let's start getting these extensions plugged in. And we will see how this looks. First time, or how this feels, I should say. First time using cable mod extensions. This is our experiment of the day. Um, but this is also to protect the customer because we don't want to use cheapo cable extensions with a 12 volt high power GPU. At least I don't. Maybe that'll be something that we eventually become. Oh wow! See, these cables are stiff. This is what I was worried about. This is the the wild card of the build. Um, these cables are gonna look amazing, but oh my god, these are stiff cables. These are crazy. Oh, that is so much torque I gotta put on that. Wow. That'll straighten out over time, but jeez, that might be the stiffest cable extensions I've ever used. That's wild. Okay, they're in there. Has anybody else used cable mod cable extensions before? Or cable mod at all? Which version of the i7? This is the 13700K. Yeah, no real point of going 14th and his name is John Cena. No real point of going 14th gen. Wait, does this? Oh, that's weird. We're gonna have to pull this out for a second. The um, the CPU cable didn't come with cable combs. All the other ones did, but that one did not come pre-cable combed. It did come with a couple extra combs. I thought they were just extras. That's weird. Why would they not cable comb? This is the only cable combs that the entire extension kit came with, which is very weird. Um, but that's just because they're pre-cable combed, except for the CPU. <laughs> why would they do that? I don't know. Or why would they not do that? That's weird. Grizzabast with the four-month resub says moving fast this week yeah we're protecting the voice try not to scream trying to s stay calm calm and collected here drinking some tea with honey and trying to protect the voice our last thirsty thursday i lost my voice for an entire week shut down ztt operations because there's only so much we can w only so much work we can do when i don't have a voice uh, and we have things to film tomorrow, so <laughs> I gotta, I gotta be smart here. So we're just trying to move it. We set the the bitty minimum to a hundred, which doesn't make me feel great in my stomach. But uh, we gotta do what we gotta do to limit limit the screaming. Oh, that case, what type of fans do you recommend for the bottom 140s? I'll show you in a minute. NZXT makes the perfect fans for the bottom. Okay. All right, these are cable combed. You guys aren't can't really see what I'm doing, but All right. boom. 
There we go. Yeah, these cables are just so, so stiff. Oh my goodness. And now we have our 12 volt high power connector that we can hopefully just route up through here, through the bottom. Yeah, that'll fit. Let me see what direction we gotta route this though. I think it, I think I know, but I'm not sure. Here's our GPU. This is a GPU that we're using. PNY RTX 4070 Ti Super. We had roughly $800 in the GPU budget to spend. And this customer specifically only wanted Nvidia. So this was our logical choice. Super clean, just all black. All black GPU. It's gonna fit very well with our black and blue aesthetic. Um, okay, I was just checking the direction of the connector. Which way to route it through. And his name is John C. Oh my goodness. Monkey with a machine gun coming in hot. Sorry for the lack of enthusiasm. <laughs> with the five tier one gifted subs. Monkey with a machine gun per usual. Thank you very, very much. That's wild. That's, yeah, that's big time. That is how uh, Monkey with a Machine Gun rolls, though. That's their MO. <clears throat> watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Also, with the 100 bitty says, Chill, brother. I'm trying. I'm trying. I can't chill when you gift out all the subs, though. It makes it difficult. What case are you building in? This is the NZXT H6 Flow. This is the same case that's behind me. This is the black version, obviously. Okay. All right, so we got that going. Boom. Okay. Just make sure we got enough room here. Boom. Good to go on that. Northern Lights again with the $2 Super Chat says, Can you raid uh, Braithorn when done, please? Uh, I'm, I'm not put a stop right there. I probably should have put a stop a while ago. Let, let's not spend money for raid requests. Let's just not do that anymore. I, I know Zai's been doing it for a while. Maybe some other people. But we're, we're going we're gonna to have to shut that one down. Let, let's not spend money on on raid requests. I know most of you are just probably trying to help your favorite creators, but saying no to that is awkward. <laughs> uh, and I don't want you guys to spend money for like advertising for somebody. So yeah, let's just let's just not do that anymore. Probably should have shut that down a while ago. Do you recommend the H5 flow? I did until the H6 flow came out. I I do like that angled GPU fan. I think that's really cool, super innovative. And if you don't want a fish tank case, then yeah, the H5 flow is good. Um, but I I just I made a video about this the other day. I love the H6 flow so much that cable management is still staying somewhat decent. Um, I love the H6 flow so much that I don't really recommend any other NZXT cases right now. The H5 flow is barely cheaper than the H6 flow. Um, but I do, I do like it, but I would prefer this. I think this is better. Okay. All right, that is all good to go. This is what the build's looking like so far. Oh, what happened to our extension? Actually, let me Velcro that up there. If that's gonna keep happening. I have to stand up for this one. Just gets, oh, sorry. Get some Velcro action here. 
keep that up and out of the way. It looks very bulky. It, yeah, it's a dual chambered case. Dual chambered cases are definitely way thicker than uh, traditional cases, for sure. But I've always liked that as a benefit. I like that. You have all this room to play with. Cable management is never difficult. And it allows you to have that fish tank look, which I really like. And most other people are, are loving right now. Definitely the fish tank dual chamber is definitely the meta when it comes to PC cases right now. All right, there we go. All right, now this is what we're looking like. Pretty clean so far. Yeah, these ca these cable extensions are... We're going to have to work on this after the stream before we ship the build. I don't want to spend too much time on it now. But these cable extensions are just so stiff that they're, like, forcing themselves out of here. I've just never seen cable extensions like this before. It's so crazy. I wonder if there's a way that I can kind of cinch that down a little bit with a huge zip tie. I don't know if my, I don't think my zip ties are big enough for this. Yeah, building in a dual chamber is very nice. You just have a lot of flexibility. And, and honestly, like if you're a first time PC builder, then like my recommendation would be a dual chambered case. It completely takes the stress out of the cable management situation. I mean, if you're using like a, a super cheap case that actually has a limited amount of cable management room in the back, if you're a first time PC builder, that, that, that will actually cause issues. If, if, if you become decent at it, um, you can make it look easy. But, I mean, it is actually a problem for beginner PC builders if you don't have enough room for cable management. Okay, there we go. That shouldn't go anywhere. There we go. Okay, how's that? Yeah, that looks good now. I basically just zip-tied this to somewhere on the back. That way, yeah. That 24 pin looks nice and clean. That CPU is still not looking super clean, but we can always touch that up before we ship the PC. Okay. All right. Now we can do the AIO, I think. I think we're good for the AIO. <clears throat> Why do motherboard manufacturers keep putting straight USB connectors put some 90 degrees yeah they should we've been buying a ton of the I'm gonna have to take my hoodie off hold on Um, we've been buying a bunch of the 90 degree or the extension for the the USB 3.0 cables because, yeah, Mark's right. It, it's been super annoying. We have a bunch of them at the office, and we use them depending on the, the motherboard situation, how it fits with the case and whatnot. All right, yeah, we're good. We can take a little break on this, and now we can move to our AIO. Or actually, should we do the bottom fans first? Yeah, let's do the bottom fans first. Let's knock that out. We'll do the bottom fan. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Let's do AIO because we're going to need the hub. We'll do AIO. Is the AIO going to be top mounted? Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna put the put it right here. Okay, let's start doing this. Ten o'clock already. Whew, 
These builds take a while, man. This is definitely as long as a build can get for ZTT. Big ATX case. Three extra RGB fans. And an AIO. That is how you take forever in a ZTT stream. That's pretty much the longest formula that we do. What's this build about? This is for a customer. This is for our ZTT Consulting. You can type in exclamation point consulting if you want to see how it works. Uh, but this is just a build for a customer. Northern Lights with another $2 super chat. Didn't mean to put you on the spot. I don't remember what you asked, man. <laughs> Who'd you ask last time? I don't feel like I was put on the spot. Oh, okay. oh, about rating? Yeah, no, I mean, it was a good reminder, honestly. Yeah, it was just, it's just too awkward to say no. Like, I don't want people spending money as a request. And then I'm like, no. <laughs> I, I just don't want to do that. It's too weird. And since it's been happening more, we'll just take the opportunity to say no and try to stop it. <laughs> All right. This is our NZXT 360 AIO. Hoping that our it came pre-mounted for LGA. Let's see. It did. Thank goodness. Okay, we're good to go on that front. This is how we're going to mount it, just like this. So we're going to put all of our fans oriented like this. With the things I'm looking for here are, first, are the fans on which side of the radiator. We want our setup to be exhaust. So it's going to go fans at the bottom, then radiator, then the top of the case. We're going to be exhausting air out the top of the case. And we want to be able to see our RGB fans because we're paying a lot of extra money for RGB. Um, so the fans will be at the bottom. And the other thing I'm looking at is where do we put all of these connectors? I want them in the back of the case. If I were to accidentally route these so the fans are in the front or the cables are in the front, then we'd have to find somewhere to route all the cables visibly in the front. So instead, you just orient them so all of the connectors are what's going to be towards the back of the case. Those are the, the main things I'm looking at here for this step. <clears throat> Jake with the 100 bitties says, Is it absolutely necessary for me to have a water cooler if I upgrade to the future next-gen... GPU or processor that comes later I have I have a 12 700 F and a 4060 Ti I don't want to have to deal with changing water so I want to know if I will have to eventually we are not at the his point name is John C. John C. always interrupted we are not at the point where you absolutely have to have a AIO no you don't need an AIO with an i7. <laughs> Intel i7s are indeed hot. <laughs> Make no mistake, they are hot. But you can buy a good quality tower cooler. <clears throat> Do not buy one of the meta $20 ID cooling 224 XTs or the other $20, the Thermal Rate Assassin Xs for an Intel i7. Don't do that. But no, you don't have to use an AIO. And then additionally, the second part of your question, no, you don't change water in AIOs. AIOs are set it and forget it. You don't, you don't have to, I have literally never changed water for an AIO. That is not something that you do. If you have an issue with your AIO, the thing to do is to call customer support, not try to fix it yourself by changing water or trying to fix your loop. Don't do that. Just 
either get a new one or get them to replace it. Nothing else. Alright, now we're going to start installing all of these fans to the radiator. This is the one thing that I really like about the Corsair AIOs, the new IQ Link ones, is the fans come pre-installed on the radiator. I know there's a chance that it will be installed in the orientation that you do not want, <laughs> but they come installed like these are, or like this is, so it's in like the most popular orientation. Oh yeah, what was the issue we had with these? Oh wow, do you guys remember this? I completely forgot about this. I can already see it happening. We can't over tighten these screws. We had this issue with my build. Completely forgot about it. If you over tighten the screws, the grommets, here I'll show it to you in just a second. The grommets start caving, look. You can kind of see it. The grommets around the screws. Do you guys remember that from last time? We dealt with that last time because I absolutely cranked down on these screws and the grommets just got all sorts of jacked up. So we will not be doing that again. Ever had a tower fan come in with bent fins? No. <clears throat> bye bye hype train. Oh wow, I completely missed we were in a hype train. Osnizdudu with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. That's quite a name. What's up, Victor? How you doing, man? Can you upload more? I can't keep waiting for your videos. Do you know how many videos we upload? We are currently uploading 21 watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. videos per week on just YouTube. If you count the total amount of uploads across the social media platforms, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Facebook Reels, IG Reels, we are at 81 videos a week. <laughs> watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Now, granted, they're, all not, they're not all unique videos. It's just some of them are just re-uploaded to different platforms. I upload 81 videos a week. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. We're not doing more. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Thank you for watching them though. That's enough. Jake with the 100 biddies. I want to build my next PC, but I don't know the steps after putting it all together. You got the physical assembly, but not the BIOS and everything of setting it up. Uh, you're you're one video away. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. What? You were one. There are there are a thousand videos of. Search for this on YouTube. How to configure your PC after building. You're just one video away. And you'll be good to go. There's not much to do. Most people can get away after you build the PC with just turning on XMP. I would do a BIOS update personally, um, but it's not like it's 100% required. Turn on XMP, you're good to go, man. Koro with the 200 biddies says choo choo. Numpty with the 100 biddies. Welcome, Numpty. Thank you, Koro, by the way. It's super easy after you watch a video. Yeah, if you know how to build the PC, then you're you're ninety percent, you're ninety five percent of the way done. Well, if you actually know what you're talking about, yeah, that's the easy part. That's the fun part. I actually like the 
the process of setting up a brand new computer, I, I, I like that just as much as PC building. Starting with a fresh copy of Windows and, and getting it all configured and optimized and everything and, and like benchmarked with a fresh PC, I, I, I really enjoy that process. That's fun. I love starting a new build from scratch on the software side of things. Okay. Um, I think we're ready for our AIL. So we're going to take that off. Get some screws out here. And set this here. Try not to mess up our thermal paste. And his name is John Cena! Sorry, John Cena. You're going to have to wait on this one. My hands are full. Got to hold up the AIO, because it's not going to stay there by itself. And his name is John Cena! We have to thread on a washer. And then at least get two of these screws in here so I can stop holding this up. Do that corner first. Do that one more time. Then we're good. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Oh, definitely not from there. There we go. Boom. Okay. Oh, magnetic screws. There we go. Now the AIO will at least sit. Watch out, watch out, watch out. sit here without me holding it. Now we can screw in the rest of them. Hype train's still going. Whoever said the hype train was dead? That was fake news. Uh, Dabba with the tier one resub come back for three months now. Thank you very much. It's keeping the hype train going. We also have uh, Koro with the 100 bit. He says, keep the train going. You guys are definitely keeping it alive. During the last live stream, I don't know how many of you guys were there, but I actually had to stop streaming in the middle of a level five hype train. Pretty sure I'm the first ever content creator to do that. Be like, ah, oh, level five hype train, I gotta go. But we had to protect the voice. I felt the... Um, my voice was really dying on me. This was on Tuesday. So I, I didn't want to stream any extra minute. And we had to say goodbye to a level five hype train. That was crazy, but smart. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think anybody ever does that. <laughs> Fix with the hundred bitty says attention to detail is above board. Awesome to see. Why do you say that? Do I normally not have attention to detail? <laughs> that PC looks sick. Dr. Zoomer, why are you a doctor? The OG is in the ZTT Discord server, exclamation point Discord. We all knew Doc well before he was an actual doctor. These days, yeah, he's just a doctor. Dr. Zoomer, yeah, he's just a doctor. He used to be Dr. Deals and also in school to become a real doctor. But that's all past, and now he's just a, just a normal doctor with the name Dr. Zoomer. Only the OGs were here for the, we, we saw the, we saw the whole process came from YouTube stream what's up says Elijah good call if you want to win the giveaway remember our giveaway for this PC right here um, only two more weeks two more weeks and we will build the next giveaway PC and give away this one right here 
two weeks from today at this point in time right now hopefully our giveaway winner is selected no it's a worldwide giveaway what do you think of the h9 flow again i like it but i think the h6 flow is a better purchase if you like the design of the h9 flow better then go for it um but i'm just I think NZXT made a a good mistake because I just love this H6 flow so much that for me, every other NZXT case has become obsolete because I just think this was this is the best one by far. Not at all saying that their other cases are bad. It's just this one is so good. I really like this one. Laser Shark with 100 biddies, thank you very much. Oh, also with another 100 biddies says, I'm brand new to PCs and I really want to know if you'll rate my PC part picker list. I will, but not today. Yeah, maybe, maybe the next stream. Today is a very uh, laid back, casual, mellow, flipping Friday. Or, sorry, Thirsty Thursday episode. Um, because my vocal cords are very weak right now. And we have to do everything necessary to not lose my voice. Because the week is not over, and we still have videos to record. Okay. Boom. Got all those cables routed in the back, which is why there's a huge mess back here now. Uh, but we can't really do anything with those cables until we start dealing with this stuff. These are all of the cables that are going to be plugging into our pump to power and control the AIO. And it's what's going to allow us to connect all of these NZXT products together. This is where cable management goes out the door. This is where we say complete goodbyes to cable management. Nick, you're going to have to go in timeout, ma'am. Can't spam the same message over and over again. Goodbye. <clears throat> Bro, can you give a free CPU? Sorry. I was only going to give away GPUs. If you would ask for a GPU, I would have given it to you, but no, no, no free CPUs today. Sorry. All right, so this is what NZXT cables, this is like the one downfall of using these AIOs. Things get kind of messy. This is the connector that's gonna plug in, this connector right here. This is gonna plug into our AIO pump. It's the only connector on here. Plugs into here, then you route it to your back of the case. On the other end of this, we have a three pin for the motherboard fan connector or for your pump connector then we also have usb 2.0 which we need so we can control this with our motherboard or with our nzxt cam software we also have sata power which we need to plug in to power this whole thing and then we have three fan daisy chain here so we can connect our radiator fans all together like that so we also have this pump or this hub which is going to daisy chain all of our nzxt products together and then we have this two to one usb 2.0 adapter in case if your motherboard doesn't have enough connectors which uh we'll use <laughs> i don't know if we actually have enough or not but we'll use Put that in there now uh we have two usb 2.0 connectors down here i don't know if we'll need them all so if we use this adapter now we have three so we'll put it on there be on the safe side <clears throat> no i'm good thank you 
All right, this is the this is the painful part. This is where we gotta plug all of this in. Let's start with our our hub. Actually, I gotta pee soon. Dev code with the fitted biddies. Welcome to the fitted biddy, by the way. Committee. You missed me again, but you're building a lit PC. Oh, you said, hey, I'm back. I got my server and put Unraid on it. It's lit. Flex and Minecraft servers, nice. I actually just set up a new Minecraft server in my house as well. Not that I play Minecraft, but I wanted to set up a server to refresh my brain of how to set up game servers. This is how this is how my brain works. You gotta pause the music for this one. This is important. So my boys are four and two years old. At some point, probably soon, they are going to be asking for a Minecraft server. Isn't that what they do? Like their friends want to play Minecraft together or whatever game it is. They're like, hey, how can we do this? I will 100% be the dad out of their friend group that sets up the Minecraft server. I cannot let other dads, even if they're like super Minecraft nerdy, like super technical about it, even if they're smart about it, I can't let that happen. I need to be the person that sets up the server. So <laughs> I created a bunch of game servers for Minecraft, Enshrouded, and uh, Valheim just to refresh uh, both my mind and the infrastructure of our network just to make sure I'm ready. <laughs> I was practicing. Nobody is going to be playing that Minecraft server for years. Uh, but I, I just, I got to make sure that I'm ready to go. So I'm, I'm fully prepared. And everything is working. We ha there is a local enshrouded Minecraft and Valheim server running flawlessly right now in my house. Devco with the fitty bitty says, you should do a video on how to set up a server. I, I was thinking about it when I was doing it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Laser with the 100 bitties, I missed that, thank you. Yeah, Devco, sorry for those other fitty bitties that I missed. My bad. Beasting the cool dad competition. I mean, there's gonna be other dads that are better than me at other things. But I will 100% be the best dad. Know your role and shut your mouth because the people's champ is ready to talk. I was going to continue on that, but I'll let Lazar talk first. Or Laser. Lazar. Laser talk. Hey, bro. I'm going to skate, Dale. I love your videos. They are super informative and I love the format. Hope you have a good night, man. I'll send you my PC parts picker list next stream, hopefully. Sounds good, Laser. Feel free to skedaddle on out here. Thank you very much for those 1,000 biddies. Oh, my goodness. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by, per usual. Um, but, yeah, I will be the best dad for Minecraft servers or whatever game servers and building the PCs for everybody. That will 100% be my role. Now, I also have ambitions to be like possibly one of the best basketball dads you know not coach level but i mean i could still play you know i could still destroy other dads in basketball dunk over them etc um but as far as pc building and the game servers go that that's going to be my wheelhouse nobody's going to be able to stop me on that one so i need to make sure that i'm in tip-top shape at all times because one day they're just going to come home super impatient like, Dad, we need a Minecraft server. My friends and I need a Minecraft server. And I'm like, bruh, it's already up. Just give them the password. You're good to go. What mods do you want? That's the goal. That's the goal. That's where my brain's up. Did you play college basketball? No. No. Um, I do have a group here that I play with, though. Um, I haven't played for a few months, though. Um, but I've been playing basketball um, a good chunk of my adult life. Basketball is definitely my, my best sport now as a 32-year-old, for sure. I lost the NZXT giveaway on Carter PCs. I hope I win this one. <laughs> best of luck, man. 
Was that last Carter PC's giveaway? <laughs> because he accidentally bought it and he didn't want to go through the process of returning it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw that. That's a... Uh, speaking of baller, that is very baller of him to do that. Okay, um, I think the next thing we're going to do is install the... Yeah, we're going to mount the actual block on the CPU right now. That way, we can start routing some of these cables without having to worry about this moving. So, again, here's that, that big old connector that we fed through here. I fed it through the back. Um, we have our fans up here acting as exhaust fans so we can see the, um, the RGBs. And this AIO did indeed come with thermal paste. So we're going to go on that. Um, and we're just going to install this on here. Um, yeah, just like that. Did I put mine at the bottom? Yeah. Just like so. And then we're going to hand tighten these screws on here first. And evenly distribute our tension in a star pattern per usual. And then we'll start cranking these down. Do you personally know Carter PCs? No. I've talked to him a few times. Um... He likes a lot of, so I, I, I'm like going through a, uh, a uh, what's it called? Like an eye-opening experience on Twitch right now, or on TikTok right now. And what I've noticed is a lot of the big time creators like Carter PCs. Watch out, watch out, Carter watch PCs watch out. likes almost every single one of my videos. TikTok does a really good job of in your activity feed showing you the popular people like the big time creators um if they interact with your content like they they force that notification to be at the top and a lot of the pc building and tech talkers and whatnot they all like almost all of my videos and on youtube it is not like that like i mean i've been on youtube way longer and not that like we don't like each other, but like, we usually don't comment and like other people's videos. It's just not a thing. But on TikTok, everyone's doing it. So I've had to like kind of train my instincts to be like, okay, actually like their videos. <laughs> um, it, it, it's just different. I, I like it. I really like it. Um, but. A lot of the big time tech talkers and whatnot, they're liking my videos, commenting on it, and you know, it doesn't seem abnormal, but it usually is. Like before TikTok, we we would just never like each other's videos. Like um, but now it's a very normal thing to do. And I like it. I'm here for it. What are your guys' thoughts on Carter PCs without using the term uh, thug shake? What do you guys actually think of his content? For those of you that watch it, type a zero if you've never seen Carter PCs. But if not, what do you guys think of his content? Curious how much of our audience overlaps on this one. <clears throat> Yeah, a lot of zeros. That's understandable. Subscribe to him, W. W content. He's a bit funny, that's about it. The pink guy goes crazy. The thing about Carter, man, is he can turn any life story into a hilarious five-part mini-series on TikTok. The most recent one being uh, Pink Eye. Yeah, the one before that was the Apple Vision Pro stuff. He just makes everything into a super hilarious and relatable story. And it's, I mean, he, 
he really impressed me the other day where he got pink eye like last week or so and so he's been making all these like funny pink eye videos but he even got a sponsor x reel i don't know if you guys know the company x reel he x reel is like a apple vision pro type of product where it's like sunglasses but he did a sponsored x reel integration using his pink eye as like the the segue to it i'm like oh my god man you're successfully advertising because you have pink eye like it's just it's so creative it's it's actually good it's actually good content creation i was very impressed by that just integrating his normal day-to-day -day things into uh paid content it's and, and he does it in a hilarious way yeah the only thing bad about carter pcs is his audience and the thug shake audience <laughs> that's the only bad part uh devco with the fitted video says also have you ever experienced with tiktok that sometimes feels like gambling when f when first starting off to make videos? know your role and shut your mouth because the people's champ is ready to talk S sorry devco we're gonna have to wait laser has something to say apparently I've also subbed to him, his pink eye wilding lol, I know I know I was leaving, I just love watching you build PCs and talk dude you're an absolutely awesome guy I'm actually gonna skedaddle skedoodle kid kabod now. <laughs> that was actually impressive AI translation work, or text to speak, te text to speech work. Uh, thank you Laser, I appreciate it, per usual. Yeah, he was... It, the pink eye content is very impressive. Thank you very much for another thousand videos, though. That's wild. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Carter is my daily tech news alongside UFD hot news. Nice. Nice. Same. <laughs> uh, what was I answering? Oh, Devco. Have you experienced with TikTok that sometimes it feels like gambling when first starting off to make videos? Um, yes, but that's not indifferent or that's not different from any other platform um like right now i can guess to a degree of like 10k views how many videos it's gonna get up until like over 100k over 100k and it's just like I, I can anticipate like oh this video is gonna do amazing over 100k views i can usually predict that but below that I mean, I'm at the point now where I can pretty much predict, like, this is a 20K video, this is a 30K video, 40K video. Not that I'm 100% accurate, of course, uh, but it, it's very predictable once you learn it, for sure. Um, and, and, of course, there's going to be outliers. Some You're always going to have videos that tank, always have videos that are going to explode that you didn't expect. Um, but for the most part, it is, it's, it's pretty predictable. Uh, but when you're first starting out on any platform, not just TikTok, you're, you're gonna, yeah, it's gonna seem like you don't know what's going on, for sure. But that's, I'm just trying to say it's not unique to TikTok. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be chaos, man. We are definitely gonna let Sam <laughs> uh, provide a cable management assist whenever we get this PC done. Don't worry, we will not ship a PC uh, that isn't up to standards to a customer. Um, but for the sake of my voice and the sake of this, this live stream, we are going to um, not get super bogged down by the cable management. Because we just need to build this thing and stop streaming. Where are my... I packed SATA power cables in here somewhere for this reason. Where did I pack them? There they are. There they are. Whenever you're building a PC and you have a modular power supply, even if you don't think that you need SATA power, always plug one of those cable strands in. Always. There's always an accessory, a box like this, something that is going to need SATA power. Maybe a 2.5 inch SSD one day. There is always going to be something that you need SATA power for. So if you have a modular power supply, just plug, plug one of them in. Devco with the Fitty Bitty says, 
uh, laser shark, laser shark. Thank you for the pity bitties. Oh, painful with the hundred bitties. I missed that. Says I was on bedtime duty, but I'm here now. Welcome, painful. Oh, Thank you for stopping by. Devco says uh, with the fitty bitties. Also, do you have any other operating system on your home server, home lab? Also, home networking short series. Great stream tonight, man. Thank you. I forgot that that was a text to speech. Uh, thank you, Cyber, with the 300 biddies. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. I saw a couple of people on YouTube complaining um, that I should just shut up and build. And then they're wondering why I don't read YouTube chat. Okay, got it. Um, home server OS. If it's just a VM, like virtualization platform, I really, really like Proxmox. That's my favorite, for sure. Most home labbers will say the same thing right now. I would recommend learning Proxmox. That's really good for just hosting a bunch of different VMs. Um, the server that I just set up was a, um, well, I actually set up two. I just set up a Casa OS as my host, which gives you access to a bunch of different Docker containers and whatnot, which is really nice. And also the game server is just on a Windows box that I had. Yeah, I just did it on Windows since the box is already set up. It, it's one of those mini PCs. I got one of those, or I got two of those mini PCs for a sponsored vertical video, and I used the Intel one um, just because it had Windows on there. Now I I did load a AMP software that runs Docker containers, so all of my game servers they're not running directly on Windows; they're in Docker containers. Um, but unfortunately, the host OS is still <laughs> Windows, which isn't ideal but again i was just trying to prep myself for the game server hosting and before i prep myself further anywhere um i definitely gotta go pee like emergency i'll be right back guys Perfect timing on that again. My bathroom breaks are perfectly lined up with that whole video. Zach, have you tried XCPNG? Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Come again? What did you just call me? XCPNG? What the f... Server-based... Oh, it's a hypervisor. No, never heard of it. Oh, I, oh wow, I like it. <laughs> 
your seamless hypervisor. Turnkey server virtualization. That UI looks amazing. That looks much better than anything I've ever seen before. Easy to install? No, never even heard of it. How new is this? I have never heard of that before. I mean, I'm, I stay pretty actively involved in <laughs> home server conversations. I have never seen that. Have you? Zio, Zach, what are you drinking? Lemon ginger tea, water, and sparkling water. Uh, we are trying to conserve the voice. Honestly, I'm, I'm getting a little worried. Just for full transparency, I'm getting a little worried that we're not going to finish this build tonight. Um, I might need to let Sam in the office finish this. It's just... I. I know I've been explaining this all day, and if you guys have been watching this entire stream, then you're sick of hearing it, but I have to protect my voice. We have uh, important videos to film tomorrow, and I, I can feel my, my, my voice slip in here. So we might just end this here with the AIO, and then I'll let Sam finish this afterwards. Um... That way, because we got to get, um, I want to ship out this PC ASAP to the customer. So we'll ship it out by Monday or so. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to finish, guys. I I can't let my voice tank. It's it's too, impl it sounds very uh, selfish, but the my voice is just too important to our business. Devco with the fitted bitty says, uh, thank you, man. Also, how did you learn to home lab? Oh man, I've been home labbing for almost as long as I've been PC building. I've been home labbing since before people called it home labbing. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I really, really, really just enjoy that as a hobby. Um, one of my most popular videos is a home server video. Like. Most of my home server videos, which have been like five or six of them, most of them do very well, thankfully, which is why I, I do them every now and then. Um, I just, that is a hobby to me. That is not like a profession. And outside of like fitness and gaming, home labbing is probably my third hobby. Probably. I mean, I go through phases. Like right now I'm not in a big home labbing phase. Um, other than what I did earlier this week. But, yeah, I mean, I just love it. And I mean, w one thing, if you guys are interested in getting an IT job, <clears throat> how many here are interested in an IT job? Type a one in chat if you think you are going to pursue or you're already currently pursuing an IT job. I'll save the time if there's nobody here. <laughs> Okay, that's plugged in, that's plugged in. Let's get the SATA, SATA power. Okay, all right. All right, there's a good bit. If you want an IT job, and you want to stand out, oh wow, a lot of ones, okay. And if you want to stand out from the other people that you're competing with for that job, which you are competing against other people in IT right now, explain to them in your interview what your home lab setup is if you can if like if you're interviewing for a some type of position that requires you to work on servers or vms or even cybersecurity, build your home lab uh in a similar it field like that and in your interview, explain to them what your home lab setup is. If you're in that interview and you're explaining that, yeah, I mean, I set up a, an active directory in my house just so I got familiar with it. Or yeah, I use ESXi uh, as a uh, hypervisor in my house and explain the little details of it. Or 
uh, if you're like interviewing for a networking job, tell them how th your VLANs are set up in your house. That's how you get above the other people. Because most people that are applying for, for tech jobs, they have the cert and they probably don't have an, any experience. They, they probably have their degree and their cert. They look good on paper, but have they actually gone through watch out, watch out, watch out, the process out. of all the things that you can do in a home lab? That's how you set yourself up for sure. I interviewed a lot of people during my last job and we hired the home lab guys. <laughs> we hired the home lab guys. It shows that you have experience. It shows that you have more than just paper knowledge that you can just pass a test you have more knowledge than that yeah it's 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 very um well uh well received in an interview to talk about your home lab i mean i was interviewing people like to try to hire them and i had people go up to the whiteboard and uh draw a network diagram of their house and it's not that I care at all. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm kind of interested as a nerd, but like, I don't care for the job, how your actual home network is set up. But what I want to do in that interview is hear you talk about home networking. I want to hear how competent you sound, how, how in the weeds you get, you know, the little details. I want to make sure that you don't say something obviously stupid when you're explaining how you have your VLAN set up or, or what, what model of router and switches you're using. You know, you, you can reveal how smart you are by explaining your home lab setup in, a, in an interview. Highly recommend it. What about, what happened to editing in two hours? Well, it, when we talk about home servers, all rules go out the, out the window because I'm a big nerd about that and I love, I can talk about it all day. Okay. All right. Um, everything in our AIO is done. Should we just turn the system on? Let's do this. Let's just turn the system on now. Make sure it boots. And then I'm going to let Sam finish up this build. Does that sound fair? That way we can at least catch a quick glimpse. Uh, oh, wait. No, I don't want to install the GPU now. Never mind. We're, let's just, let's look at where we're at. This is where we're at, guys. Um, I don't want to go farther. Um, I want to make sure that I can serve my voice. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, very selfish. Yes, I know. Um, but it's actually... Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. It's actually me thinking about other people. I need to make sure that um, my employees have work to do tomorrow. Um, and I can film videos and whatnot. So, yeah, we are going to wrap this up, guys. I'm, I'm very sorry. You do you. Thank you. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that. let me at least put this on here. And that way we can see what it looks like so far. And we will probably finish this up tomorrow. Or Sam will. And then we'll get it configured over the weekend. And then hopefully this customer is happy with his... Oh. Oh my god, with his super heavy PC. Um, but yeah, black. Black and blue starting to come through. Imagine the GPU there. It's going to look super sick. Very excited for him. It's going to look awesome. Bunch of blue RGBs and everything. It's going to look really good. Um, but yeah, I am going to end the stream here, guys. We're going to do what's necessary to protect the voice. Uh, Devco with the 100 bitty says networking watch stream. Out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely do a, a home networking, home lab type of... I'll give you guys a home lab tour of what everything looks like here uh, for a live stream. That'd be really fun. Um, Ev with the 100 bitties, thank you very much. Uh, says goodnight, thank you. Devco with the 50 bitties says, I'm doing software engineering. I want to host my own web server. Good advice. Watch out, watch out, watch out, for sure. Watch out, watch out. And that's the other thing too. Even if it's not a home server or a home lab, if you're web hosting something that's any anything that you can show to people that you do this stuff in your free time and you can competently speak about it is going to set you above in those interviews for sure. Painful the hundred bitty says good night. The build looks great. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sorry we couldn't turn it on. 
Okay, we're good to go. All right, guys. Thank you guys very much for the huge support per usual in these live streams. And uh, I really appreciate the viewership during the super laid back casual type of builds. Oh, wow. Let's stick it up. Um, yeah, this is definitely a, a good one. We're going to wrap this up. I'll take pictures of it so you guys can see it before we ship it out to the customer. If you guys want to, if you guys want me to build your own PCs, exclamation point consulting, or just help you out, um, feel free. If you want free build help, then just go to zttbuildhelp.com. And if you want to be in a community of people, of home labbers, dads, um, PC building nerds, PC building, uh, PC flipping experts, all of the above, exclamation point discord is definitely the place to be um i'll be hanging out in there till i go to bed tonight for sure i'm in there every single day and yeah i'll talk to you guys later thank you very much see ya